Good evening. We're at East Point Park where the city is warning Scarborough residents about a poisonous plant found amongst the trails here. But it's not just that plant that users should be concerned about. Its lookalike is even more dangerous. A warning now that some of the pictures in this story may be graphic to some. Do you know what hogweed is? No, I've never heard of it. Have you heard of cow parsnip? I've heard of parsnip. At this baseball diamond in Scarborough, players on the field were none the wiser about what was lurking beyond the fence. Thing. You, you see beauty and you go, oh, and you want to touch it even. Uh, don't touch the flower, don't touch any of it. it. It's an awful plant and its effects are lingering. These tall stalks topped with clusters of white flowers behind East Point Park look exactly like an invasive species called giant hogweed. While they can be nice to look at, they can cause some serious reactions if touched. Just getting any of that sap on your, on your skin can cause your skin to blister. And not just sort of soon after, but into the future, like you can have a, a permanent effect on your skin. A cyclist riding these trails in East Point Park spotted the plants last week and reported them to the city. After days of testing, it was determined they weren't hogweed, but a related plant called cow parsnip. Looks similar, and it has a much milder effect. That is, you can get that, that burn sensation of the giant hogweed, but this one, it's only mildly um, phototoxic. Since this poisonous plant is native to Ontario, the city will only remove stalks blocking public trails and put up warning signs like they do for poison ivy. Hogweed, on the other hand, which has been found in Ontario and is becoming increasingly more common, will be removed by the city if reported. Well, unfortunately, it is a perennial, meaning it will come back year after year, and that the suggestion is that you cut the flower heads off so at least the seeds don't spread. Youngerton says since hogweed and cow parsnip like the same conditions, they can sometimes be found growing side by side, and telling them apart can be nearly impossible. That's why he says park users should stay away from touching any plant that looks like this. Yeah, I hit a lot of home runs over that fence, and I have to go get the ball sometimes, so good to know. Okay. <laughs> so if you see that in the woods, don't touch it. I will not touch it ever. Now, one of the few ways to tell those two plants apart is by their height. As the name suggests, giant hogweed can grow to be 10, even 20 feet tall, whereas cow parsnip is about five or six. Now, the city says that if you spot a plant that looks like either of those two, you should call them at 311 and definitely stay away from it. Now, a city news viewer, let us know about this issue. If you have something that you'd like us to look into, you can send us an email, give us a call, or go to our website, citynews.ca, and click on News Tips.